Today we are going to look at the settings and especially the top bar of CapCut. Most of it is pretty straightforward, but we're going to go through each one. So firstly, we have the about very straightforward information. You see the version that it's in. You also see that um, the company that actually created it, which is ByteNance. Um, make sure that you always have the most updated version. So you are up to date and you're getting the, the latest features. After that, we have settings. Now, this is important for some people. Um, so right over here, you have what you're going to be saved to. So where your files are saved, especially like when you're exporting. As you can see, you have to close the project before changing the project save path. So I would have to close this project to then change it. Then after that, we have cache. So cache management is basically um, what we have saved. So let's say that I had something on my timeline that would be cache. It would be saved. So then when it's deleted, like let's say I, I close my program, it will still be saved um, up until 15 days later or whatever it may be. So for here, I put 15 days because it doesn't need to be 90 days. Most of my projects are very short um, when I use CapCut. And then over here we have the size. So if I want to, if I don't, if I don't need any of this, I could just close it. Um, but I can't do that right now because I would have to close the project before clearing the cache. Um, then we have our editing. Our editing is straightforward as well. We have our image duration. So let's say that I have an image and I drag it onto my timeline. This is how many seconds or frames that it'll put on. So right now it's on the default kind of time. So if I were to drag an image, it would be five seconds, but I could put this to 10 seconds. I could put this to one second. Um, I could put this to one frame or 30 frames, right? So it really depends on you. I just stick with five seconds because that's usually a decent time, especially with reels. You really just want to change it up in every two to three seconds. So having it for five seconds is not a problem. Um, so that's good. Then we have free layer. Free layer is actually um, a very interesting thing. Free layer makes it well more free. Like you're able is easier to layer. There's like less. How do I say? If you were to turn this on, it would feel more like a regular video editing software. I'll say that. So when you're moving stuff on your timeline, it will feel less snappy. Like it, it'll, it'll feel more like a video editing, um, vi video editor. Um, I don't, I don't know how to explain it more than that. I usually just leave it alone. Um, and let CapCut do his thing. Here we have your frame rate. I keep this at 30. I don't touch the time code because I don't need it. Then we have performance. Now for performance, we have a proxy. Now what exactly is a proxy? A proxy is essentially, let's say you have like really big video files, image files. So let's say that I bring in a video so instead of it bringing the entire video um, and it's a, it's a hefty video, right? Let's say it's a 4K video. Instead of bringing the entire 4K video, it'll bring a proxy, which is essentially a quote unquote less quality version of that video, but and it'll put into the editor. And so I will be editing using the proxy so it's easier for me to edit and it won't slow down my laptop or my computer. And then when I export it, then it'll change the proxy to its original content and then it'll save in the highest quality. Um, so think of it as a think think of it as like a, a placeholder, right? So it, it basically you're editing the content, but when you have the proxy on, it just decreases 
how much space and RAM it takes up when you're editing. So it makes it um, smoother. Usually I have this on because I'm bringing in files of a higher resolution. If you don't think you need it, fine, you could turn it off, but it, it just makes it much faster, especially if you're going to be adding a bunch of effects and like filters and transitions. Um, you wouldn't want an added, uh, you know, an added reason to mess up your, your performance just because you have proxy off. So it might be better to just leave it on and, you know, just work as best as you can. And then next is uh, just language. Um, you know, I think that's the great thing about Kafka. Like they're really making sure that they're they're very accessible. Um, so there's tons of languages here that you could pick from. Obviously, I'm just going to stick with uh, English here. Then after that, you have go to home page. The home page. Um, so as you can see, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So look here, since we're at the home page, what can we do now? Now we can go to settings and now we could actually like delete the cache files. And then we could change, we could change the actual like location of where we're editing. Um, so anything that we wasn't able to do before because we was in the project, we're, we're good now. Um, but it doesn't really matter because, you know, we could just go to new project. We go back here then after that we have our layouts these layouts are it's it's pretty it's pretty easy I usually just stick with default layout but we have media layout as you can see here um, doesn't really do much for me then we have player player first Then we have adjustment first. And as you can see, it really just it really just pops it off. I mean that that's really what it does. It really just pops it off. And that does nothing for me. And so <laughs> I just stick with default layout because I don't need I don't need that. I don't see the the need to do that. Then you have your terms of service, privacy policy, third party copyright, um, network testing. Then you have your quit. Then you have your file. So new project, import, export. Then you have your editing. Very, you know, it's pretty basic stuff. And then you have your help. It does basically the settings, um, the main settings for CapCut. There's really nothing crazy about this. App. that's what makes it so great because most of it is straightforward you don't have to worry about um, a big learning curve like using uh, Adobe Premiere or even worse After Effects um, it's, it's really a plug-and-play and they make sure everything is as intuitive as it can be um, and anybody of any age could use it and I think that's an amazing thing 